Fox Bills with you in just a little bit, so do not go anywhere. Right now, let's get to some news. It starts out in Tennessee, where Mike Vrabel actually at the podium as we're live here, had a little bit of news himself, not ruling out Ryan Tannehill just yet for this Sunday. He's got a high ankle sprain. It sounds, based on what I've been told, unlikely he's going to be ready to go. But Brabel said it's likely if Tannehill's not out there, you'll see both Malik Willis and Will Levis get playing time, which would be the NFL debut for Levis. In other news, Tennessee made a move yesterday, sending Kevin Byard, Mike, to the Philadelphia Eagles for a couple of late-round picks and safety. Terrell Edmonds, this is a Howie Roseman trade, if there ever were one here. Give me both sides of this, particularly for Philadelphia, where they think that this is an upgrade for them as they try to make a championship run. Listen, they're strong across the roster, except for that safety position, and we saw Terrell Edmonds get blown by uh, by Tyreek Hill on Sunday. He had kind of been struggling, maybe not what they thought he was going to be. So uh, every indication we had gotten was the Eagles, if they were going to make a trade, were going to do it at the safety position, and we're checking in on guys at that position. And there were a number of guys who, if you traded for them, maybe you'd have to give them a big contract extension, maybe not now, but some point in the near future. And, Tom, as you noted yesterday, uh, the Titans paid the bulk of the money on Kevin Byard this season with a $7 million signing bonus on a renegotiated contract in the summer. So financially, for the Eagles, this is just a little bit over $2 million. So this made the most sense for them for this upcoming season. He's got one year left at $14 million, which can always be uh, juggled there. But they spent so much at the cornerback position. They spend so much up front on defense that financially this makes the best sense because you're bringing in a guy who's extremely reliable uh, and, and a guy that can contribute at multiple spots in that secondary. Uh, also reunites with A.J. Brown. It's another trade for Howie Roseman with the Titans. And Bayard, born in Philly, coming back home to Philly. And look for more of these types of deals to get done. We all talk about what's the Christian McCaffrey-type blockbuster. A lot of the trades we've seen in recent years have been ones like this, where it's a little bit of an older player who doesn't cost you a ton in cash, doesn't cost you a ton in draft capital, but can step in immediately and make an impact for a team that's got big-time aspirations come January and February. In Cleveland